Party time, Mom. Welcome to another episode of the Chad Prather Show. Hope everybody had a great weekend. We're coming to you this Monday evening from the Mothership, which is Studio 22. Hot news, Natalie. How yes. are you? I'm great. Are you really? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, that's really all that matters. Thank is you. that you are great. <laughs> well, uh, good. I'm you look very Donald Trump patriotic. Bryson Gray told me to wear this. He did? Yep. I love Bryson Gray. He's a good dude. Well, he actually told everybody. He didn't just tell me. I don't know him. Yeah. But he said, wear your MAGA hat. And I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't so. find one that fits my big giant head. Party foul, Steve? I don't have a MAGA hat. I don't have one either. Right? I borrowed this one. You did? Who'd, did. Where'd you, who'd you borrow it from? Did so, you borrow it or steal it? No, no. I, I really did borrow it from my friend Scott and Mary. Okay. He bought it in D.C. off the street. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, my head's too big. There's a big there. Trump outpost by my house, like next yeah. to the gas station. Really? Like every day they set up this tents and all I the I bought flags. every flag they got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have. I go by there and buy that stuff. I got them, man. They always have a line there. And there's then there's people honking when and waving. Yeah. There's this website that I, I have just ordered some vans that say go Trump. They're flags. Yeah. I'm ex- I think they're coming from China. They but probably get here. are. They <laughs> probably are. Trump doesn't give funny. a shit either. He'll let anybody put his name on their stuff well, and yeah. he don't care if he makes a dime off of it. He doesn't make a dime off of it. Yeah. Uh, he can't. So that's a pretty funny thing. But, he, <laughs> but they make America the MAGA hats are made in America. They're American made. Yeah. They uh you know, they get accused all the time of straight from China. I love the I love the straight from the people it's made in China people. You do you have any idea how much stuff in your home is made in China? seventy five percent. A <laughs> lot of stuff. But these people that want to jump on us because see, uh our t shirts they started outsourcing. They had to get uh thread from like Nicaragua yeah. to make the shirts. And so it says sourced from Nicaragua. Mm. Uh and people are like you say it's 100 we had to take down from our website 100 percent american made yeah, you have to say american strong oh now. and that's what you say because <laughs> of where it's done where the cotton comes from where and it's sent off the shirts made here and then sent back pieced together printed here so it's yeah. american strong we've okay. had people say well you you i'm like we had to take it off of the website because we had a couple of guys you know those sticklers for American made. Yeah, only made in America. And I believe in American made. Me too. I'll go even deeper. I think it should be Texas made. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So like Toyota trucks. Yeah. Toyota <laughs> trucks with a Japanese name made in Texas. Uh, but, you know, people are such sticklers on that. You know, they kind of get pharisaical over the whole, you know, they got to dot every I, cross every T and make sure that by God, they're patriots and everybody but, knows it. Does it upset you like that? I mean, you are, are you a stickler for that, would you say? Well, I mean, you can't control it. Right. I mean, I got an iPhone sitting right here. Right. If we have a good trade agreement with a country that benefits both countries and we're not being screwed, they're not being screwed, then I'm okay with it. Win-win. But if you're getting screwed well, like we've been screwed by yes China forever. No. I mean, we've been getting screwed by China for a long, long time. I mean, you know, uh, and not to mention they are a human rights violator. So when you got uh, basically slave labor and child labor going on and you got oppressed people in a communist regime... Uh, no, I'm not for supporting a place like China. Well, I'm sending those but, uh, shoes back. But Nicaragua, back. I mean, I get it. There's some different kind of deals that are out there yeah. that I understand. But when I mean, I'm we, okay with kids making my T-shirts, but my iPhones, I want an adult making that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the iPhone thing, I, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, the technology a, is made. They got stuff in Japan and China that we can't touch on technology Mm -hmm. and you know we don't it's it's a it's a catch-22 that's out there i would love for everything to be made in america i would i would love it i'd Mm -hmm. love for everything to be sourced in america i think trump is working towards that end i think we're seeing some things that have happened there's been some progress in that area so he's definitely america first is on as much stuff as as i can see but i'm with steve if it's a win-win and we have a good relationship with another country he said if it's a good relationship with a country yeah then yeah if it's a good country. Yeah, I was going to say, when you, when you dig there ain't down no into... country the, like America. No, when you right. dig down into the human rights violations and stuff like that, that's... Uh, Make America great. America forever. Hey, guys. Pretty much every day, we see a whole lot of new shocking videos of... Well, I'll just call them what they are. They're anarchists. They're out there threatening innocent people. I don't care if it's in a cafe or a restaurant or anything else. They're burning buildings, destroying businesses, and throwing the Molotov cocktails at the police. Uh... These riots, and that's exactly what they are, they've endured 
And I've told you this, we've talked about it on the episode before, money keeps flowing in and supporting these things. Did you know that Verizon, you're, we're talking about wireless phones and stuff like that, cell phones. Verizon donated $10 million to a whole bunch of social justice organizations, including Al Sharpton's National Action Network. It's a major deal, folks. You should be aware of that. Patriot Mobile is going to share your, they share your values. And unlike Big Mobile, they're not going to send your hard-earned money to the aid and destruction of America. I love Patriot Mobile. They're good friends and good folks. They're not going to fund organizations like Planned Parenthood. Instead, they're going to give you the same reliable nationwide service, and you're going to get the support of a company that actually loves America and our values. They're going, they share your values. They support our police. They make switching over to them very easy. You can keep your phone number. You can bring your own phone. You can buy a new one. So I want you to go today to patriotmobile.com slash Chad. You're going to get free activation on your new cell service. Plus, you're going to get a special gift with the offer code Chad when you put it in at checkout. You can call their U.S.-based customer service team, 972-PATRIOT. That's 972-PATRIOT. And guess what? Veterans and first responders, they save even more. So make the switch today and support America. PatriotMobile.com slash Chad or 972-PATRIOT. Be right back. Well, I'll tell you what. The um, I still have the best album in America comedy album y'all shut up go get it uh we do have the hard copies coming go to watchchad.com you can find everything i want you to find us out on the road puppet master mark is at the helm of course he is perfectly driving us into the nether regions of all things outrage and i will explain that to you in a minute candice the queen of the ethiopians the source of my outrage uh <laughs> and herbert the silent deer silently looking on um have you read this book candace outrage inc have you, have you read this book? I want to get Derek Hunter on the show. I We're haven't, gonna... but it does look pretty interesting. I saw this... that coming. So I've written a book that's not out yet. We've got to get it published. Uh, it's called Am I Crazy? Uh, because it's a look at the world, and basically I'm looking at myself and going, either I'm crazy or the world's gone crazy, right? And it's a humorous look at the this insane stuff that we've... That we've um, embraced and, and, and normalized right so the book when it comes out be called am i crazy i wrote it and uh, it's in the hands of the publishers now we'll see what happens but this book kind of mirrors some of that hmm. right here this outrage inc because they've made a business out of outrage outrage sells and in this book as i was just kind of reading through it i i pulled it out of, off my bookshelf because i wanted to bring it in here i feel like glenn beck today uh but it started talking about um, it, it's got some chapters in here that talks about, let me get back over to the chapter section because I want you guys to hear this. Uh, it's got like bias by proxy, as seen on TV, the doomsday cult, the party of science, talking about the left, which, which is really, they're, they're anti-science. Um, the millionaire victims, uh, famous for being infamous. They're making a movie about it. Hate crime hoaxes. Right. These are all things that are being perpetuated these days. Bad science is perpetuated. Like we live in a world where they'll take Neil deGrasse Tyson, who's a real scientist. And Bill Nye, who is not a real scientist, and basically give them the same credence with what they say. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Bill Nye, the science guy, is a mechanical engineer by education. He did a TV show. As seen on TV. <laughs> As seen on TV. So if you're told long enough that this person has credibility, then you start thinking, well, he's the science guy, of right. course. He's the science guy. Well, just because the guy knows how to light things on fire with gas uh, on a TV show and, and make it entertain, make science entertaining, um, that's, like, that's like me going to the magician to get my tires changed. I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? I, can you make them poof just right there change them out uh it's a different thing just because you can do tricks doesn't mean anyway i totally bought point. into it though 
when I was watching Bill Nye yeah, on television. We did. We he was a science did. guy. And we probably learned something. I've already forgot it all, but yeah, I'm sure I don't remember any something. of it, but I remember him. But then you've got, you know, you've got late night television. You know, you got you got the late night television stuff, the, the, the John Olivers, the, uh, the Stephen Colbert's. You know, we had uh, John Stewart that was on the Daily Show. You have uh, Trevor Noah, those guys. Uh, you and, and he makes a good point. Says, you know, these guys they go all out in an attack, and people watch this stuff, late night television. They accept it as fact. But they, let me show you just how crazy the world is. This is what Derek Hunter says in this book. He said, there was a time when the name Kardashian elicited thoughts of OJ's legal team and Paris Hilton was a destination. <laughs> <laughs> All it took for that innocent reality and journalism to change was two homemade porno tapes. Paris Hilton came first when her night vision tryst with an ex-boyfriend hit the market. Then a funny thing happened. What just a few years earlier would have embarrassed someone into hiding led to celebrity status. Paris was inundated with offers and attention. Television shows, endorsement deals, millions of dollars on top of millions she was born into soon followed. Hot on her tail was Kim Kardashian's homemade porno. At the time, her partner in the video was the famous one, a rapper named Ray J, who is now the answer to a trivia question that will stump your friends. Three marriages later, Kim's every move is fawned over by the media, and Ray J is on a milk carton <laughs> in a trash can somewhere, probably. <laughs> Eventually, Paris stepped back from the limelight, maybe even grew up a little, but the second child of O.J. Simpson's late lawyer sucked in every bit of it from the, that one tape, which is the most viewed adult video in history, and with no discernible talents outside of what is seen on the tape, and Kim Kardashian <laughs> name rakes in tens of millions of dollars per year, simply existing in a way that gets people to pay attention. The rise of the ultimate supermarket tabloid stars was the death of supermarket tabloids as the mainstream media followed the trail of attention and surprise of their creations with the release and celebration of those private moments made public. Uh, the, the marriage between the news and the celebrity was consummated. That's why you have Billie Eilish on the DNC. That's why Chrissy Teigen and John Legend become relevant on Twitter, because we've made them that way, mm -hmm. right? We, we have taken people who really and truly, no matter how talented they are, they're irrelevant to the thought process. They should not be creating your, your worldview, your Weltanschwung, your paradigm, the net through which you see the world, the lens. It should not be created by John Legend. It shouldn't be created by... Chloe Kardashian or Kim Kardashian or 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 Kanye Taylor West. Swift. Who? Taylor Swift. Or Taylor's or any of them. But it is. It is 100 percent because it's entertainment journalism. Uh, I mean, a wart is technically a, a tumor. But that ain't what you call it. Uh, you got he says here reporters interview celebrities with a team of publicists in the room on topics agreed to ahead of time, usually whatever movie, album, or book they're promoting at the time, mm -hmm. in exchange for essentially reprinting a press relief with airbrushed post candids or airing well-lit video interviews, quote-unquote, uh, entertainment journalism are rewarded with trips to exotic locales. Many of the press junkets are staged in places where the movie was filmed. Um, yeah, there's, uh, th there's a lot going on. They're actually rewarded for reporting this stuff, right? And what it does is it gives them an opportunity to put out their thought, um, says, uh, talks about Chrissy Teigen, uh, who, you know, tweeted more than Nancy Pelosi. Uh, it, anyway, I, it just, it's just it, the outrage of it. They, he gives, it, and I, you know, it sounds like I'm selling this book, and I really kind of am. I want people to read it. Uh, the, uh, oh, where's that page? I dog-eared it somewhere in here. Candace. Bear with me, bear with me. There's no, there's no page numbers in this book because this is an advanced copy. Um, did I dog ear that page? Maybe I didn't. Either way, I'll find it. But it talks about, you know, the non-science of things, and he lists all the genders and stuff and talks about how 50 years ago, if you had listed all these genders, people would have laughed at you. Right. Right. They, I mean, they, and, and it's the whole long list, and most of them are like, you don't even know what they are. What's two-spirit mean, Candace? Do you even know? I don't know what two spirit That's is. That's a gender? It's a gender, apparently. Two spirit? Two spirit. Like T W O? T W O. <laughs> Not like too much spirit. We too got much. spirit. Yes, we do. We got spirit. How about you? Okay. Um, it's not that. Oh, my gosh. I've dog eared that page and now I can't find it. 
I had I to look know. up who Chrissy Teigen is. Did you? Yeah. Really? I wish I was that. Um, agender, androgyne, androgynous, bigender, cis, cisgender, cis female, cis male, cis man, cis woman, cisgender female, cisgender male, cisgender man, cisgender woman, female to male, FTM, gender fluid, gender nonconforming, gender questioning, gender variant, quine, uh, gender queer, intersex, male to female, MTF, neither, <laughs> neutrosis, non-binary, other, pangender, trans, trans, something else, trans female, uh, la, 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 trans male, trans man, trans person, trans woman, trans feminine, transgender, transgender female, transgender male, transgender person, uh, trans masculine, transsexual, transsexual female, male, uh, transsexual person, tra- blah, 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 two spirit. It goes on and on and on and on and on. Was there just male and female listed in there? So, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, but I mean, what, like, what? I don't know what I like. Uh, it's so weird. I mean, it, you know, that's that's the whole thing. It's it's just it's the never ending liberal game of make shit up as we go along. You know, that's why I said last week, you know, Facebook is now offering 71 options for genders on when you sign up on your profile. Uh, you pick up, I mean, it's ridiculous how many different things you can be. And, but yeah, we were talking about it last week, talking about how postmodernism taken over and you just interpret things however you want to interpret it. It's just however you feel. People are confused, man. Mm -hmm. And, and you know what? The billionaires out there are getting richer. The the system, it's weird to me that the system that made them billionaires is what they're fighting against. It's like they want to be the only ones. They want to make sure nobody else gets that opportunity. So when you read Little Black Baby or whatever the name of that book is, <laughs> what what is is anti-racist baby? Yeah. Okay, so when you read that and it talks about policies have made it where people don't have access to things. No. It ain't, it ain't about the policies. It's about these control freaks that are out there that, as I've said, they want the earth to be their private island. Mm-hmm. So now the Bill Gates of the world, they want population control because they want it to be manageable by that group of billionaires that are out there. And they don't want you to be a billionaire. They don't want you out there being a part of their family. They got their little secret thing going on and they don't need you coming in there now. Right. You're not moving in. You're not. You don't get to move into the resort. Seats taken. <laughs> <laughs> Seats taken. Are you stupid or something? Um, so. You know, that's the, that's the whole thing. They, they don't want to do that. So they're funneling money into these things. You know, they're funneling money. We talked about it when we talked about uh, Patriot Mobile a minute ago. You got these big, big wireless companies out there. They're funneling money into these programs, these different deals. I mean, it's ridiculous. What do you think BLM is? BLM is a conduit through which a billion dollars has flowed for seven years, hasn't done a single thing for the black community. But it has funded this anarchy that's out there. It's funded this outrage. So, again, Outrage Inc., this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. It sells. Outrage sells. Shock value sells. All of these things sell. You can do a hit job on me. You can do a hit job on me, and people do it, right? You know what it does? It brings out more support. And it brings out more offers for things that people are like, hey, I won't go any deeper in that. But it's what happens because it's human nature. People love to be shocked. They love to be shocked. Dun, dun, dun. Do you think that's happening all over the world, not just America? It's happening all over the world. Do you think just hearing about the latest on the coronavirus and that whole idea that it really was purposefully made yeah. in the in the lab and that there was a control there yeah. to release, and that there are other viruses. Look at Switzerland. Is it, it's Switzerland, right? Switzerland stayed open. I want to say Sweden, but it's Switzerland. Switzerland stayed open. They were like, nah, we're good. We're good. And look what they're, they're, they're thriving. They're doing great. They basically closed themselves off to the rest of the world. Now, granted, Switzerland has pretty strong immigration policies. And, and, you know, they're just like, nah, we're going to stay open. We're going to keep on going and keep on doing this. And uh, it is Switzerland, right? Candace, not Sweden. Or is it Sweden? Double check that for me. I mean, they're all the same to me. <laughs> Switzerland and Sweden. But, yeah, the, uh, they, they just kind of stayed open. And, and so same with South Dakota, right? And I'm so tired of everybody comparing everything to South Dakota. Y'all should be more like South Dakota. South Dakota did it right. Yeah. They've been doing great. They've been doing great. And now you, 
Sweden. Sweden. I, I knew I was right the first time in my head, and I'd said Switzerland. <laughs> Switzerland's irrelevant. Sweden. Yeah, but they Just like a man. I knew I was right. I knew no, I was right the first time the whole thing time I never said. Anyway, so it, it's outrage, man. It sells, it sells, it sells, it sells. You know what else sells, guys? What? Patriotism. I love patriotism. America. That's right. And I'll tell you, with all the craziness that's going on out there, home security companies, a lot of them are out there. They're going to trap you with high prices contracts that you don't understand that get tricky lousy customer service and support so while there are a lot of options out there you need to have something you really do because the world's gone crazy there's one no-brainer it's simply safe i love them simply safe's got everything you need to protect your home all you got to do listen you don't have any of the drawbacks of the traditional home security. you got an arsenal of sensors and cameras. They blanket every single room, window, and door, and they're tailored specifically for your home. they got professional monitoring that's going to keep track and watch of your home day and night. They're ready to send police, fire, medical professionals. And if there's an emergency, listen, they're going to be on the scene. You can set it up yourself. That's the beautiful thing. In just under an hour, you just peel and stick the sensors exactly where you need them. So there's no technician required. They'll help you if you need it, but you don't need it. There's no contract, no pushy sales guys, no hidden fees, no fine print. All of this is going to start at just $15 a month, and I'm not the only one who thinks Simply Safe is great. U.S. News & World Report named it the best overall home security of 2020. So head to simplysafe.com slash watch chad get a free hd camera for all of my listeners that's simplysafe.com slash watch chad s-i-m-p-l-i dot com slash watch chad to make sure they simply safe watch chad dot com watch chad i get it it's like sweden and switzerland <laughs> simply safe.com slash watch chad that way they make sure they know that our show sent you hang tight we'll be right back Yeah, man. You remember when the all, it, it, the inauguration happened, and I mean, they had those made-for-TV mobs just ready to go, right? The the girls screaming on the sidewalk, no! Yes. Made a lot of funny no! memes. No! Yeah, as soon I as it announced it, I mean, you can't tell me that wasn't a setup. That's made for TV. That's made for TV. That's those those hits right there. Those things they know they're going to be iconic images in a big way. They're going to be memes. They're instant memes. These things. They're That's doing true all because stuff. you have seen the same girl at like three different mass shootings. You see it. You see it. You really have. You'll There's, see a ton of these things yeah. like that and the crisis actors that are out there and the stuff. Mm -hmm. And you can't convince me otherwise that there aren't made for TV events that come. For instance, what happened to the damn murder hornets? What happened? Well, they didn't need them. <laughs> Enough was going on. They didn't need to release the murder hornets. Now they were all set. They, I mean, they could have been a contender. I think we found one out there the other day at the ranch. Yeah, I think so. That, that thing was, was a monster, That was big dude. as my hand. That was the biggest wasp I've ever seen in my life. See, I hornet. think the murder hornets were on the way, and in March they were like, no, we're good. We're good, man. We're play, they, they're planning on burning <laughs> down the West Coast anyway, so we don't need to be yeah. there. They, they turned the around and went back to Japan. Caught the corona. They Something, the man. Rona. But, I mean, they, they, could have, they could have had a shot at the title. Yeah. But everybody got everybody. Well, you tell me I got a booger in my nose. No, I'm about to cough. I hate it whenever you scratch your nose <laughs> at me, like I've got a dinger banger me. hanging out or something. You don't have a booger. Good. Oh, I do somewhere in, in there. That I can somewhere see. In that there. I can see. Now I'm gonna rub my nose. I know. I see, pick my Candace, nose rub your nose. Sorry. The um, like, you don't touch your face, people. You get the COVID. Remember mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm, Make mm -hmm, sure you mm -hmm. cough into your arm. Uh, we've had all kind of things, man. 2020. I, you can't. It's an election year. It's an election year. Ronald Reagan said anything that happens in an election year is about the election. Think about that for a minute. Hmm. All the shock and awe, all of the all of the stuff that's that's gone on. People have lost their friggin' minds. The media is the virus at the end of the day. Yeah. Can I get an amen from the fact pack? From the fact choir. Uh but that the media is the real virus. And that's what, you know, the the whole concept of am I crazy? Or is the world gone crazy? Right. 
or you know this outrage that makes money it does it I could does. have answered your question you didn't have to write a book <laughs> yeah I, there's no question about it we're all crazy but that's that's the thing is you know i point out examples in my book of of real life things that are that are hitting us of of just day in and day out the simple cultural things that are happening not necessarily these things because he you know Derek brings out a lot of stuff in his book that are uh, you know current events that are happening i just talk about how our brains have changed i just want to know if me and natalie are mentioned in the book oh not yet oh okay oh thank god well, that means it's coming for not us yet. Because, I mean, if you want me uh, for sure for me to read it, if you put my name in it, I probably will. I'm, I'm going to hide it whore. in the index, <laughs> deep in the index, and uh, it references back to nothing. I'm yes. trying to think of an election year that was this dramatic. With, I mean, it, coronavirus aside, there's, it's, there's been a lot. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there has been. People are going to start listing them. I'm just trying to remember myself where it was it, this wheels off. We still have enough time before the election for something that will help help Trump bigger than ever. Well, you're starting to see some of these things that are backfiring on the left, like Mm -hmm. these riots and stuff like that. The media, if you'll notice in recent days, have started to attack some of the folks on the left. I've seen Don Lemon do it. I've seen Jake Tapper do it because it sells. They're they're seeing the the positive response they're getting by calling out some of the shenanigans and it's almost like they're trying to put the spirits back in pandora's box but they can't now because they've unleashed it and and the outrage that's out there like the fact that we have these rich white kids out there burning down the black (laughs) communities and claiming to be fighting against oppression ought to tell you how mentally warped and brainwashed people have become. You used to be, when I mentioned this last week, you used to have the blacks burning down the black community when they would riot. Now you have whites going in and burning down the black community, which I'm like, tell me how in the hell that makes any sense. And setting businesses on but fire. It, yeah. I had somebody on line businesses, the other day it. say these right wingers, and I'm like, no, it's not white no. right wing no. people. No. <laughs> Is 100% not. I promise you, right-wing conservative people are not going out there painting Black Lives Matter with Jacob white Blake's wing. face. White ring? White, white wing. <laughs> These white wing people. These white people. White ring. You understand. <laughs> and, and, and I've talked about this a hundred times. The estimate, you know, like the, the Charlottesville thing. Right. Everything was all about these extreme right wingers, you know. Yes. And, and uh, Heather, Heather Heyer girl got hit by the car and killed. And there were crazy extremists out there Mm -hmm. um but this thing again it was a it was one big tv media op that was there that ended tragically and they they're still harping on this thing and you want to talk about white supremacists and neo-nazis and the kkk look they estimate between five thousand and eight thousand kkk members in the u.s today five thousand and eight thousand I would say probably a large percentage of those are inside our, uh, you know, in jail, in prisons. There probably is a lot of that, but let's split the difference and say 6,500 people. All right. The okay. WNBA doesn't put that many when the things were going normal. Mm-hmm. Women's National Basketball Association didn't put that many fans in the stands. Uh, they, they didn't have that. 6,500 people is nothing. That do ain't they, even hardly a town. Do they still have a WNBA? Yeah. They sure do. Interesting. I'm just wondering what happens at a KKK okay, meeting. Okay, but here's, but here's the other thing. <laughs> Most of those KKK members are broken down into factions where they don't even get along with each other. Mm-hmm. So we're not talking about some finely oiled institution and organization that's out there. You're talking about a fringe of the fringe okay. group that's out there. So to sit there and say that racism and all this stuff and oppression and all these things are existing on a large scale in America, they're not. That's a myth. You're being told that because the outrage sells. They need the outrage to sell. Look, Governor Greg Abbott here in the state of Texas just extended all of this disaster stuff for another 30 days because of coronavirus. Why? Because he's going to get 290 some million dollars out of it from federal Mm. federal tax relief or federal funding. Uh, federal relief money so it's going to come out of the taxpayers pockets what i'm trying to say but 290 million dollars 
You give me $290 million, you won't see my white ass ever again. <laughs> Bye. I'm out. <laughs> but you know, you know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's insane right there. It's insane. So, uh, yeah, you're going you're to continue with the crisis for another month mm -hmm. because it sells. It gets you the money. It gets you the money. And the point being, you know, Kim Kardashian and Paris Hilton make a video that gets out there. It was planned. They planned that thing to get out. Didn't there, that sure. Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee, they had a yeah. video on a boat. I that, saw I that one. I didn't see the, the other ones. Watched. It was at one Pamela, point in time. Pamela, but Kim passed her. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Way past. At one point in time, Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee were the biggest. Yes. That was out there. It was the most bootleg video. Because he was the biggest. <laughs> That's what I heard. I was going to put out a sex tape. My man tape. walking on stilts. What? Uh, me and Tony were going to put out a sex tape, but it was so short. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to watch that 15 seconds. Yeah. Give me that read up here, Mark. We got us a brand new sponsor I'm pretty excited about. I want to tell you guys all about these folks at. Put it up there, Mark. Let her rip. <laughs> My bookie. I used to use my bookie all the time. I love going to mm -hmm. Vegas. I love playing. I love, you know, gambling a little bit and stuff. And so when they reached out from the folks at my bookie, I was like, heck yeah, bring them on the show. Listen, winning season returns at my bookie. Winning season, let me tell you what that means. It means doubling your first deposit. Winning season means survivor, super contest, and squares. At my bookie, winning season mean, means hitting all your parlays and props with your with your feet up right you can do it right there from home watching your team trounce their rivals rejoice folks it's time to celebrate you got the nfl season if you're still watching that you got the nfl season you can you can hey you can invest in your intuition at my bookie just by using promo code chad double your first deposit new players get up to a thousand dollars in free play uh designed to add more excitement to the sports you love and the games you bet and uh, they got live betting, championship futures. Every play you want to make is at MyBookie. You can get it at MyBookie.com. Make your picks, win big, collect your cash, use promo code CHAD, and you're going to double your first deposit. Your winning season begins today only at MyBookie. Check them out. Yeah, um, you were asking the question earlier, what happens if there's no clear winner of if this presidential still election? They're contesting it, and let's say a date of inauguration comes all around. All the ballots haven't been counted. Well, first of all, the new Congress goes into effect January 3rd. Okay. Okay. And that obviously is is up for election. That's why, this, is why, this is why the Congress and the House is so important. So... We don't operate by a popular vote. We operate with Electoral College, mm -hmm. right? And if the Electoral College cannot make a, pl a clear decision on who the president is, it comes down to the Congress mm -hmm. to determine and vote based on the state's Congress people who the president is. Congress determines who will be president. So it's not a matter of it being Nancy Pelosi, because there's nobody there to fill the void, so to speak. Okay, this Congress is, will choose a president. This is different than what I was yes. told before. Well, I was it's told different it was from Nancy what Trump Pelosi. said, too, okay. a week or so ago when he made I the gotcha. comment about Nancy Pelosi. It will be up to the Senate to decide who the vice president is. Okay. Okay. So that is constitutionally what happens. That happened with John Quincy Adams uh, under our current process with the Electoral College. And hasn't happened since. Our elections, by and large, tend to go a little smoothly. I mean, there's no guns in the street and things like that of, of well. coup d'etat and things. But, I, they're, they're, you know, <laughs> there's but right now, who knows? It's you know, 2020. There is the off chance it could happen, but it's a very off chance. OK. Right. Uh, I you know, that's that's the deal. And, and obviously, there's a lot more depth and complexities to how all that would play itself out. But when I made comment, when I mentioned that Congress, the new Congress is January 3rd, it's important, folks, mm -hmm. that you put the right Congress people in those seats that you got We got to gain and retain where we're mm -hmm. at right there. So uh, it, 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 it's 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 a lot up for grabs. Well, I'll tell you, Candace 
is the one who is the most nervous about all of this because she's what if and the crap out of it. And I don't blame her. Candace Owens or Candace Our Ortiz. Can, can, Candizi. Candizi. Mm-hmm. Oh. Right, well, Candace? She, Candace she's, loves that kind of crap, though. Or she just, she's not scared. She just is just wondering. Yeah. What if, what if, what if, Candace? She, she, she just loves all that kind of stuff. So I had to Google uh, what happens at a KKK meeting. Oh, all right. Well, first they read the minutes from the previous meeting. <laughs> <laughs> now so, I have no idea. I've never been to one. I was just, I was just throwing in parliamentary. Steve's procedure like, when there. I kick it off. Yeah, this, uh, and, and I'm not sure that this article is necessarily going to answer it, but uh, you know, there's a lot of Gonzo journalists out there that have gone in and pretended to be, uh, you know, and they've written books about it. And they pretended to be one of them and stuff just to kind of get access uh yeah so uh, there's a story here about invading dave one of david duke's meetings and and mm. uh so oh that's youtube i don't want to get on that uh so see i don't even i don't even know right right what happens it can't be a long meeting <laughs> <laughs> everybody gets to get up and, and bitch about what their problem is right um I'm not sure if this thing's going to let me do it or not because it takes, uh, uh, oh, get me down to this question. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, well. I was trying to see on this article if it had it. No, nothing there. I mean, Whatever, the case, nothing. Whatever the see? case, I think as time passes by, they're fewer and fewer, I, I would I, think. Yeah. yeah. Kind of yeah. like what Oprah said that one time. You just got to wait till a bunch of old white people die. I mean, she wasn't wrong. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, it's... Uh, well, that doesn't mean old white people are members of the Klan. No, but what I'm saying is that, well, that not all racism of them. being taught less and less as each generation mm. comes yeah. along. If you've ever been to a Klan meeting, please email <laughs> steve at watchchad.com and give us a play-by-play. -play. Bullet points would help. Uh, but yeah, I don't and, get one. And let us know... <laughs> What goes on? I mean, if you got to get in there and confirm your whiteness, uh, that's boring, I, you know, or your white supremacy. When I was in high school, I did see a KKK group. Did you? Well, I mm -hmm. know a lot of people. Um, you know, a, a good friend of mine who was a pastor in Alabama, they burned a cross in his yard. Uh, there was big controversy over... Uh, one of the black football players at the local high school wanted to take the white prom queen to the prom right mm. and they you know persecution with that family and and uh it's happened for sure you know it's happened but i mean i've read articles about you know the clan in the northern states and and things like that so it's not something that is 100 percent tied to the rural south as people tend to think you know uh in fact i've seen i've witnessed and, and observed more racism in the north in modern times than I have in the South, just my personal observations. Um, let me tell you something. If you're a black conservative, just watch how the white liberals come out after you and the names they call you. And I, I'm telling you, you can go play by play, person by person, everybody that we know that's a black conservative and get in their inbox and read what's said to them. And let me tell you, there's more racist comments made there. Mm -hmm than anything they ever heard from a conservative or anybody on the right. They said, we never heard racist comments or were called those names until we came out as conservatives, and then the liberals came after us. And, I mean, those are verifiable facts. I've seen the messages. I've seen the messages, and I'm the one. They called me, you know, racist Chad Prate. They're spouting off his stuff. And I'm like, then if I'm such a racist, it should be easy to provide plenty of examples. You should be able to give me some bullet points mm -hmm. of some things that are out there. I, I've visited with an interracial couple good friends of ours and asked them what it's like because i can promise you it was about 50 50 percent when they've experienced yeah some sort of racism for racism them being a or couple. prejudicial treatment correct yeah they said you hear it from all sides both sides yeah all sides really yeah so you do yeah and uh you know i it's it's i'm so tired of the topic i, I mean exhausting. i want i want equality of opportunity for everybody <sighs> uh the, the equality of results so that ain't gonna happen so i'm sorry baby black baby this got the bird net and anti-racist anti-racist baby yeah um you know you you got the you got 
I'm, I'm fighting for you to have equal opportunity. I want you to have equality of opportunity. I can't guarantee you results because life ain't fair. I don't care who you are. There's, there's Black Baby right there. I love Black Baby. I want to kiss on them fat cheeks. Mm-hmm. I get that baby a butterfly. Lord, get that baby a butterfly. Pull the wings right off of it. What? You know, black baby pull the wings off of it. Any baby pull the wings off of it. They butterfly. eat it. They don't know what. Like, they I, put it right I in their mouth. I put it in they put that butterfly right in their mouth. We went. Butterflies we went, taste awful too. Every, <laughs> every, they're covered in dust. Every, we used to go every year to Grapevine to the Monarch Butterfly mm-hmm. deal where they the migration. And we go to Grapevine on Main Street, and they give you a monarch butterfly, and it's in an envelope. And I'm like, man, that's claustrophobic. Uh, you got to pull, you got to pull your monarch out and let it go and stuff. Man, don't give it to the kids. The kids put it right in their mouth. Yep. They're like, ah, rah. you got a wadded up envelope. And I'm like, we got a butterfly in there, baby. <laughs> There's a butterfly in there. Then he was around flying the around, just trying to migrate to Mexico, and suddenly somebody grabbed him, stuffed him in an envelope, and then the envelope got squished. By a baby. The baby ate it. That's right. I'm glad that person's out there catching them butterflies in that net. Mm-hmm. So that baby wouldn't eat them. they pop them right in their mouth. <laughs> we don't know what happened after that scene. The one kid catches a butterfly. Maybe they gave it. Maybe he did. Maybe that butterfly went right in his mouth. We don't maybe know. So. Don't know. We don't know. You know why? Because Ibram, whatever his name is, didn't write that part of the book. We don't know. Him and his access to policies. Cliff- it's a cliffhanger. Yeah. It's a cliffhanger. We need to write, uh, you got to write white baby now. Maybe that's what they're working on at the KKK it meetings. I don't know. Black baby. I can't find it on Google. We'll be right back. Watchchad.com is where all the fun stuff is. I encourage you to go over there. You can get my new album, Y'all Shut Up. Download it where downloads are available. Uh, go to blazetv.com slash chad. Get that. And uh, use promo code chad. It'll give you 20% off for your annual subscription. Subscribe at Party Foul Nation on YouTube, and you get whining women and beer for brunch and all that good stuff. Candice, the queen of the Ethiopians, she's over there conspiring, trying to think of what in the world she could think up next. <laughs> have you seen the mug shots of those people in portland we really yes. you've seen them how yeah. crazy they are these they're people are interesting mutants they're inbreds they're from another planet uh but where they are from is we need to do that special on portland we need it's relevant now it's it's so it's still so relevant about where these this second generation of freaks of nature came from there's a reason they're there there's a reason portland's so weird Mm. It, that's so messed up such a beautiful city such a beautiful place it used to be one of the top 10 places downtown areas do you know downtown fort worth designed sundance square after what they have in portland oregon i did not know that yeah because it was so nice and it i love so downtown nice. fort worth yeah i do too so pretty uh so anyway anyway go check all that stuff out we got some specials coming up though we're working on uh, that I think you're going to enjoy. We're going to get into some things uh, here and there because let's let's face it, you get tired of talking about the current events on here and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get Elijah Schaefer, host of Blaze TV, slightly offensive to come on the show. He's actually uh, been in Washington D.C. He was just in Philadelphia for the protests there when Trump was in Philly. Uh, all the riot footage you see, all that stuff that's on the news, you see it. Andy No, or it might be Elijah. I want him to come on here and just kind of talk about the anatomy of an Antifa member. We talked about the KKK. Let's talk about what's really pressing and what's really making the news right now, the anatomy of an Antifa. What makes one of those people up? Because it's fascinating stuff to talk Mm. to Elijah about that. Uh, Give us a rating and review. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow night. We love you. God bless you. Talk to you next time. Bye.